Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you the break statement. So I highly recommend that you have a look at all of the previous videos in this control flow series that are related to loops. So for loops, for in loops, while loops, and do while loops. The break statement can be used with any of them. So what is the break statement? Essentially, it allows you to break out of the loop. So if something occurs, maybe some condition and you no longer want the loop to continue running, you can just break out of it. So imagine if there are a hundred passes on the loop and after the 20th pass, something happens with maybe the input or the value, maybe you get an input from the user and you've got enough input or you've got the right input or you've got the enough input to be able to you know, work something out, you would want to break out of the loop. To do that is simple, you just use the keyword break and that's it. So we're going to say is, we're going to say if i is equal to 3. So when i equals 3, we're going to do break. So if we were to run that, as you can see, we get 0, 1, 4. So what's happening? We, we create this loop, does a 0, runs all the way till we hit 5, including 5, and it's adding 1 every time. So it says i0, and we do this condition, does zero equal three? No, so we skip this little code block. So it does, it prints out zero times zero, which is zero. Then he adds one. Now, is one equal to three? No, so we skip this code block again, prints out one times one, which is one. Add one to it, no, it is two. Is two equal to three? No, still skips the code block, and it comes to here, and it does two times two, which is four. Now i is 3. Is 3 equal to 3? Yes, it is. Perform this code block, which is a break statement, and it gets out of the for loop. So what I'm going to do is add a few more prints just to show you exactly what's happening. So I'm going to say before break, print after break, and I'm going to print one outside of the loop as well. So I'm going to say print outside of loop. So if I was to run that now, so we get 0, 1, 4, then it goes into here, it prints out before break, it doesn't print this one out because as soon as we hit the break line, it exits out of this for loop. And then outside of loop is triggered as well. So it doesn't, you know, exit out of the application just out of this loop. That's it, nothing more to the break statement than that. What I want to suggest as an extra task is for you to create a nested loop, doesn't matter what type of loop it is, and put the break statement in, in the innermost nested loop and see what happens then. Be pretty interesting. So that's it, if you have any questions, actually, just notice that here as well, it's saying info dead code. So, you know, it's saying, you know, that there's something wrong with it, not that there's something wrong with it, it's just that this will never get hit because this, you know, editor knows that this break will prevent this from getting triggered. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.